The overall goal of this procedure is to retrieve DNA from active microorganisms that have consumed a growth substrate of interest without the prerequisite of laboratory cultivation. This is accomplished by first incubating an environmental sample with a stable isotope labeled substrate of interest under conditions that are similar to those found in the native environment. The second step of the procedure is to extract total DNA from this isotope labeled sample. The third step of the procedure is to subject this DNA to density gradient ultracentrifugation in cesium chloride. The final step of the procedure is to fractionate the density gradient to obtain heavy and light DNA for subsequent molecular characterization. Ultimately, results can be obtained that reveal the identity of active yet uncultured microorganisms involved in the metabolism of a particular substrate through a variety of possible molecular techniques, including fingerprinting, microarray hybridization, clone library analysis, and metagenomics. Hello, I'm Josh Neufeld from the Department of Biology at the University of Waterloo. I'm Eric Dunford, a graduate student in the Neufeld Lab. Today we'll be showing you a procedure for DNA stable isotope probing, or DNA SIP, which has become a widely used technique for linking the identity of unknown and potentially uncultivated microorganisms with their ability to use a growth substrate of interest. We use this procedure in the Neufeld lab to study the metabolism of carbon sources in a variety of terrestrial and aquatic environments. Today we'll be showing you the application of a particular carbon substrate, 13C glucose, to a soil sample. But we acknowledge that since this method was first developed by Colin Merle's group at the University of Warwick, researchers have diversified the protocol to be applied to a variety of different environments and also using a variety of different labeled isotopes.